All the brands had been building sort of independently one another for a while and having a lot of success in, in very different ways. And only about a year and a half or two years ago, I started sort of thinking up this idea that everything was changing in media, that the digital platforms, that Facebook and Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter were sort of starting to resemble the MVPDs of 30 years ago that this was the dominant platform, these were the dominant platforms for content consumption and that big media brands were gonna be built on them the same way all the big cable channels got built. And I had one of those brands that I was building in Thrillist and admittedly it wasn't a brand that sort of dreamt in video, but I knew it needed to become one. And in thinking about how to pull ourselves legitimately into the future and also sort of skip the line and Sort of knowing that consolidation always comes to every generation of disruption in media and it, it was the creation of discovery and scripts and disney's cable business and time warner and viacom and sort of starting to look ahead and say i think that this is going to happen in digital we can be a bunch of independent brands waiting to get acquired by some large conglomerate or we can build the next holding company and let's find a family of brands that have that first of all dream in video and have great scale, but that own audiences and are passion driven. And tonight we talked a lot about those sort of red threads that connect the brands, really optimistic, really participatory, really focused on speed and insights. And uh, it took a long time, but we put the brands together at the end of last year and Discovery uh, is our partner in making that happen. And they invested a bunch of money into the collective company. And since we've combined the businesses, we have been quiet because putting four brands together is really hard and you, you can't just jam them in a room and say figure it out. So figuring out how the brands learn from one another, how they sort of interact, what platforms we took from each brand and built upon has been a serious labor of love and it's been a really, at times, sort of harrowing last six months but this is the culmination of that work where we're now truly one company, and I think, and I hope, that uh, we're not gonna be so quiet anymore. You're gonna hear more about us. Having Discovery as a strategic partner is crucial for us. You've actually seen this happen with most of the biggest digital media companies finding strategic partners, BuzzFeed with NBC, Vox with NBC, Vice with A&E, it's like the list goes on. And the reason is that we're at this interesting moment where sort of digital and TV are starting to collide and we're at this sort of magic moment actually where now 50% of video consumption happens in mobile and the other half, half happens on television and that's, that's the moment where the sort of the, 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 the crossing of the axis and I think traditional media companies need real conviction around digital future and digital media companies can benefit from the scale that TV still provides, the gravitas that TV provides, the relationships with brands, and quite frankly, the capital. And so we thought about finding an institutional partner for us. The first group we tapped was Discovery because we thought our brands, the theory of our brands together matched up beautifully with them. And it's been an amazing partnership. And tonight we sort of announced that we're gonna really go to market together, leveraging their linear scale, our digital scale, to let brands reach everybody. It can look like a bunch of different things, but it can look like digital content that we're creating that's working, that audiences are loving, that gets a new life and a new audience by living in linear as well. It can mean our digital brands creating totally new formats of content, like 22 minute TV shows that live in linear. It can mean their brands starting to extend into digital, so creating shorter form content to connect between episodes. It can mean taking IP that they have, Shark Week, Animal Planet, etc., and finding new homes for that in digital. Or maybe most importantly and most excitingly, it can mean creating new IP together. Taking what our brands stand for, what their brands stand for, and creating new programming. And so we announced something tonight, a partnership between Thrillist and TLC called Best Meal Ever, where we're gonna partner linearly and digitally and take sort of the ethos and the shared uh, talent and the shared capabilities and the shared airtime of our brands and put them together to make a big sponsorable, ownable franchise.